I want to introduce to you the latest development that we have, which is the hoof trimming attachments to suit the Ritchie squeeze crate. I want to take you through the uh, assembly procedure and show you how easy the process is. The kit comprises of all these components you'll see at my feet. Uh, to begin with, we have the three ratchet assemblies and we have the three open hooks. Uh, we also have the front brisket strap, we have the front hoof block. The front hoof block, we only have the one and you use it for both the left and the right leg. We have the belly harness complete with the straps. We have the, an extension piece which goes onto the crate which uh, brings out the actual squeeze lever mechanism. We have the rear hoof blocks and the brackets and we also have the rear leg winch complete with the straps and the fitting kit. The equipment that you require for fitting the attachments is quite simple. You need two 17mm spanners, two 19mm spanners or ratchet uh, sockets. Uh, you need better to have a hammer and also an electric drill with a 12mm twist bit. Also need a set of steps and a degree of patience. To begin with we'll work at the back of the crate and we'll fit on the rear hoof trim winch. Uh, what we'll be doing is using two holes that's on your cattle crate, they're, they're there already so we'll pick up one there. I'll begin by opening up this door. I'll take out the squeeze handle just to give me a bit more room and I'll position the steps into the back of the crate. I'll take a couple of bolts out of the kit. These are M10 bolts and we'll take the rear winch. And we will feed assembly through and I'll pop one bolt through here if I can. When you're fitting the rear winch you may need to use a hammer just to tap the assembly into position and get the whole to line up. Another tap. We can now put the bolt through the hole and uh, Tighten to assemble. Next, we will fit the squeeze handle extension piece. This is this unit here comes with four uh, 12 millimeter bolts. We will access it again from here. Bring the steps back a little bit, and this unit slides into place here and we tighten using these bolts. Next we'll fit the wheel for operating the rear leg winch. This is this unit here and it has a 10mm bolt so we'll take this out. This wheel you can actually fit to the left side or to the right side. On this occasion we'll fit it to this side, the left side of the crate and it's quite simple, securing bolt goes through. With the nut on the opposite side and give that a tighten. Next we'll fit the rear block supports, that's these two bars, we have two bars, one goes to the left side, one goes to the right side and we have to access the inside of the crate to do this. We'll be 
these doors right out. We'll begin by fitting the rear hoof block brackets into position. It goes on to this box section here, which carries the, uh, the side doors. You'll see that there's a little bit of height adjustment. We'll place the backing plate onto the U-bolt and we'll slip on a couple of nuts just to secure it in position. We'll now go and fit the opposite side, the right hand side. We now have the rear hoof block brackets in place. One thing to look out for is on clearance. And I'll just highlight to you here, where we have the U-bolt coming through, you'll see that there is very little clearance uh, between the locking bar here and the side member of the, uh, the box section. If that fouls, then when you go to squeeze, you'll find a lot of resistance. What to do is, if you are tight for space here, slacken these two bolts and these two at the top and you will find that the whole side of the crate can move slightly forward to give you the clearance that you may be looking for. Once you've done that, make sure these are tightened back up again. We'll now begin by fitting the rear blocks themselves. We'll take, start off with the left one. You'll see that we have three positions here, offers different heights. You can be into the, the bottom, into the middle, and you can also select the top height. On this occasion, I'll put it into the middle position, and there's then a tommy bar underneath that we'll tighten to secure the block and make it solid. I'll now get the right hand block and attach it. The right hand block similarly goes into the opposite side, drops into place. We'll now attach the rear leg lift strap. That is the long one with the parrot nose end on it, parrot nose clip. The end of the strap you feed through here. By turning the, the handle or the wheel, then it locks the strap into position. In addition to the long strap, we also supply the short strap. This is designed for going around the leg or the hock of the animal. One end has a small ring, other end has a large ring. One feeds through the other. You'd have this round the leg of the animal and you hook it into the parrot nose clip. That would be ready now for lifting the back leg of an animal. We will now fit the front hoof block. As I said earlier, the one block is used for both the right and the left side. Now because we have a number of these squeeze crates out in action already, this is where you may need the 12mm drill that I spoke about earlier. What we need to do is have a hole in this position here to actually help accept the front hoof block. So. If you have to drill the hole, I would recommend that you position the block into place, give it a good, the top of the locking pin, a tap with a hammer, and you'll see the mark where you need to drill through. The block is very easy to locate. Open up the side door fully. The block, you'll see, is on a channel here, and that channel wraps around the bottom box section of the, the crate itself. Slide it forward, basically as far as it will go, and that's where the locking pin will need to be. To secure the block, you can actually kick down with the quarter turn handle to lock into position. It's exactly the same for the opposite side. We'll now get uh, to, to fit on the, uh, the ratchet mechanism uh, and the open hooks to, to, to go on the opposite side. At this point you have to decide whether you want the ratchets to be working on the left side of the animal or the right side of the animal. On this occasion I've got uh, the squeeze mechanism on the left side of the animal 
I've got the rear leg winch working from the left side of the animal. So I'm going to put the ratchets on this side of the crate as well. Very easy to swap them round because what we're using is just a channel and uh, these drop over the top main frame of the crate itself. I'll position the standard open hook ones first. The one on the very front is for taking the brisket strap. We'll then fit another two reasonably close to one another and these are for taking the actual belly harness itself. We'll now fit the ratchet straps in position. Again, front one for doing the brisket strap. And one for the belly harness and the final one for the belly harness. You'll find too that because we're on a channel, you can actually slide these into position. You've got movement to the front and the rear of the crate. We will now fit the brisket strap. That's the one that has the, the sleeve on it, so it doesn't cut into the animal. The open hook here, the D-ring comes through here and feeds onto the open hook. The plain end of the strap then is fed through the ratchet assembly itself. Then pull the surplus strap through and that's it ready then for actually tensioning. Remember when we're working this with an animal in it we're not wanting to lift the animal, all we're wanting to do is tension it so that if the animal does try to go down on you it's held suspended, cannot go down. Now the last part of the exercise is to fit the belly harness. Very similar to the front brisket strap. I will open up the side doors just to give me a little bit more room and I shall take the, the harness into the crate itself. The two D-rings, they go onto the open hooks that we positioned earlier. And again, the plain end of the strap goes through the ratchet buckle itself, pull through the surplus and just activate or work the ratchet for a couple of turns and it then becomes self-tightening on the ratchet itself. The second strap is positioned located exactly the same into the buckle itself and a couple of turns to lock into position. So that is the assembly of the hoof trimming attachments for the Ritchie Squeeze Crate. Uh, if you require any further information, give us a call in the office or alternatively call any of our area sales managers where we'll be only too delighted to assist in which way we can.